A hurricane is a large storm system in the tropics. It brings torrential rain and flooding, but they're measured on their wind speed. When the winds in the middle of the storm reach an average 74 miles an hour, it becomes a hurricane, a Category 1 hurricane. The storms range from Category 1 to Category 5. Category 5, the most powerful, as they get to that stage when the winds reach over 157 miles an hour. So they bring very strong, damaging winds and torrential rain. But strip away the wind and the rain, and basically you're left with an area of low pressure. Just a very, very intense area of low pressure. What's the difference between hurricanes, typhoons and cyclones? Well, the answer is nothing, really. It's just where they form. These storms forming in the Atlantic or Eastern Pacific are called hurricanes. In the Western Pacific, the same system will be called a typhoon, and in the Indian Ocean, it will be called a cyclone. It's just a naming convention. Why do they form? Well, crucially, they form in the tropics because they need the sea surface temperature to be over 26 degrees Celsius. That is where they get their energy from. That's why we don't get them in the UK. You need the warm seas to feed them. But you also need the conditions higher up in the atmosphere to be just right for these storms to form. And one of the crucial components is the wind Shear. Now, the winds higher up in the atmosphere are all moving around in different directions. And if that's quite a strong uh, wind shear, then the storms can get blown apart. So you need the wind shear to be low. You don't want those winds moving around in different directions. Otherwise, as I say, that storm could get blown apart. And it just so happens that conditions are most likely to be right in terms of wind shear and sea surface temperature in the summer months around the Atlantic. So the hurricane season runs from the 1st of June to the 30th of November. Storms have formed outside of these dates, but they are rare. That is when conditions are just right, usually. Now, 2017 has seen some very powerful storms. Is it unusual? Well, actually, it's not that unusual. At this stage, it's just an active year. The problem is the warm seas and the low wind shear are combining in just the wrong part of the world. So it's near to the Caribbean islands where the sea is just a bit warmer than average and we've got the low wind shear. So conditions in the atmosphere are just perfect. So perfect, in fact, that Maria went from a Category 1 storm to a Category 5 in less than 24 hours. Now, again, that's not that unusual. It's just that these perfect brewing conditions are very close to these vulnerable islands at the moment and have been throughout September. Is climate change to blame? Well, a warmer atmosphere leads to a warmer sea and more energy. And many computer models suggest that we will see more intense storms in the future. But it is an area of ongoing debate and research because more energy also provides more wind shear. So there is a suggestion that we will see more of these storms breaking up before they form. As I say, it's an ongoing area of debate and no doubt a lot of research will be done into this uh, season 2017.